evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome once again to the United Kingdom Dance Championships for 1988, which are being held here in the splendid Bournemouth International Centre. Now, tonight, in the third of four programmes, we're concentrating on the amateur modern competition. Now, these are open championships, so the competitors are not just from the United Kingdom, but they come from all over Europe and, indeed, from as far afield as Japan, Australia and New Zealand, so you can bet the competition is very fierce. Will you join us at the semi-final stage with just 12 couples remaining from an original group of 100? You see, the dancers have been competing all day on preliminary rounds in front of the panel of 11 international judges. But uh, before we actually start the action this evening, let me introduce you to Charles Nove, because he's going to be giving you the details of all of our dancers. And to play for them, well, behind me on stage, we have the orchestra and chorus under the direction of Ross Mitchell. And Ross picks up the baton now for the five compulsory dancers as we begin the semi-final of the amateur modern competition. There's couple number 85 in tonight's competition from Enfield in Middlesex, Philip Banyer and Debbie Garrard. Couple number 39, the German amateur modern champions, Peter and Margaret Hook. Open British Youth Champions, Timothy Housen and Amanda Owen. Hill in London, couple number 33, Stephen Hanna and Lorraine Heeks. Foxtrot, here's couple number 16. They're from Norway, Lasse Odegaard and Lila Kragerbar. Number seven from Staffordshire, Robert Barley and Susan Shipley. Number 
47 in the amateur modern competition, the North of England modern champions, Robert Litchfield and Barbara Salt. Number 98, the current United Kingdom modern champions from Southport, Andrew Sinkinson and Lorraine Barry. Well, that's the last time that we shall see the 12 couples together because the panel of judges have decided which six couples will go through to the final. So the competition gets even keener as we now see the six finalists performing their solo dances. I've uh, been given the list of six couples who are through to the final. So would you first welcome, please, couple number 16. They're from Norway and they are Lassie Odegaard and Lila Craigbowl. Lasse Odegaard owns a florist shop back home in Norway. He and his fiancée, partner Laila Kragabal, are the Norwegian and Scandinavian modern champions. were forced out of competitive dancing in 1986 when Stephen had a bad accident almost ending his dancing career. Fortunately he fought his way back and they competed in the UK championships last year going on to make the finals of all the major competitions. Among the proud boasts of Robert Litchfield and Barbara Salt is the number of different countries in which they've danced, currently standing at 20. They've been partners for eight years and they're the North of England modern champions. Yeah. 
from Sony Hall, Paul Holmes and Kate Fisher. Paul Holmes and Kate Fisher are keen members of the British team, often competing abroad. In fact, they're just returned from a competition in Poland. Paul and Kate are Midlands closed and Welsh open modern champions. They've also won competitions in Munich and Zurich. Rigel and Cecily Brink come from Oslo, where Kim is a student at the University of Sports. They're Norway's number two modern couple, number three in Latin, and they're European youth Latin and modern champions. couple being watched very closely by all the other competitors tonight. The current holders of the United Kingdom Amateur Modern Championship, Andrew Sinkinson and Lorraine Barry. They're also Open British, USA, Canadian, Japanese and European champions. And they were runners-up in the World Modern and Ten Dance Championships. <laughs>
just to be able to dance like that and have the floor to yourselves. Well, in a few moments, for the second section of this final, we'll be seeing our competitors dancing together again for their compulsory dances. But uh, let's give them a quick breather as I introduce you to two fabulous professional cabaret dancers from America. Ladies and gentlemen, will you welcome, please, Wilson Barrera and Margaret Burns. the fabulous artistry there of the American professional cabaret dancers Wilson, Barbera and Margaret Burns. But now back to our competition and the remaining section of the amateur modern final. Now the six couples take the floor once again to perform their five compulsory dances to the music of the Ross Mitchell Band. <laughs> And at this stage of the competition, I've been joined by top adjudicator and dance coach Pat Thompson to give an expert view of the finalists. Pat, as we speak, the current title holders are on the floor. Can you give us a general idea of how the judges will be assessing all of tonight's performances? During the competition, the judges compare the couples on many points. Their poise, observance of technical detail, their ability to cover the floor, and their individual interpretation and characterization of each of the five dancers. Now, let's
let's look at the style of couple number 63, Paul Holmes and Kate Fisher. Paul and Kate are not really having a very good competition tonight. Their immaculate shoulder line and excellent footwork have justified their place in this final, but they are a little lacking in inspiration. Now, couple number 78, Kim Rigel and Cecily Brink. Well, they're both showing the result of practice and dedication that's required at their level. Good use of feet and knees, giving them plenty of buoyancy and flight. Kim is pressing his left hand down too much, and that spoils the shoulder line, which should be horizontal from the right to the left elbow. Well, in that dance, the quick step, the judges have put number 63, Paul Holmes and Kate Fisher, in sixth place. And couple number 78, Kim Rigel and Cecily Brink, come fifth in the quick step. Now, on to the tango, and a look at couple number 47, Robert Litchfield and Barbara Salt. Yes, this is a good tango. Each step is being taken individually, with the leg moving first and the body following onto that foot. They are sharp and clear with good staccato movements, and they portray the right character of this dance. Couple number 16 from Norway, Lasse Odegaard and Lila Kragerbom. They are dancing very well indeed tonight. Lasse is maintaining a good shoulder line, which helps Lila to respond to his body, and particularly to follow the very sharp head movements, which are working so well in unison. And your heart and soul. Lasse's a good, powerful tango dancer, and they both demonstrate good promenade positions. I'm sure this performance warrants high marks from the judges. And the judges' verdict for the tango gives third place to couple 47, Robert Litchfield and Barbara Salt. And number 16, Lasse Odegaard and Lila Kragerball get second place in the tango. Tonight's competitors have five compulsory dances to perform. We'll pick up again now with the Viennese Waltz as we watch the current champions, couple 98, Andrew Sinkinson and Lorraine Barry. Certainly they are dancing quite superbly tonight. They've won all the previous dances, and this beautiful portrayal of the Viennese Wars is outstanding. They are totally together in all their movements, and they make it look completely effortless. Lorraine looks stunning in this dress made of soft tulle. A new innovation as opposed to the chiffon and feathers the other girls are wearing. And those floaters from the shoulders perfectly complement the rotary action of this dance.
And lastly, a look at couple number 33, Stephen Hanna and Lorraine Heeks. Yes, both dancing some lovely natural turns. A powerful performance tonight from this couple. And the champions, number 98, Andrew Sinkinson and Lorraine Barry, are awarded first place in this dance. Stephen Hanna and Lorraine Heeks are placed fourth for the Viennese Waltz. Well, I'm sure you'll agree, ladies and gentlemen, that we have seen some marvellous dancing from our amateur modern competitors this evening. And really, what a very difficult task for the judges. But um, before I give you their decision, will you please welcome the gentleman who's presenting the awards tonight? He's the managing director of the company that are sponsoring this evening's competition, that super dance shoes, and he's Mr. Barry Free. <laughs> And now to the results. And the judges have awarded third place to couple number 47 from Stoke-on-Trent, Robert Litchfield and Barbara Salt. <laughs> In second place, couple number 16 from Norway, Lasse Odegaard and Leila Craigbold. Kingdom amateur modern champions of 1988 are couple number 98 from Southport, Andrew Sinkinson and Lorraine Barry. So they've done it again, winners of the UK Championship for the second year running, Andrew Sinkinson and Lorraine Barry. Warmest congratulations to the winners and indeed to all of the couples who made this evening such a, a gracious and colourful event. Well, I do hope that you've enjoyed being with us at the Bournemouth International Centre and we certainly look forward to the pleasure of your company for our next programme. But for now, we wish you a very good night and leave you to enjoy once again the artistry of the new United Kingdom amateur modern champions for 1988, Andrew Sinkinson and Lorraine Barry from Southport. Good night. Good night.